Hey, well, when you go on vacation, it's very easy to get out of your daily routine of eating right and exercising, but you don't have to let the vacation change all those good habits. Joining us now is Krista Ruchiza, who is a certified uh, nutritionist from VersaFit Studio in Voorhees to show us how to stay on track. And we were talking about how, at least for me, I work out, work out that right before vacation. Mm -hmm. I am hardcore. <laughs> and then the second vacation time hits, it all goes you out cheat. the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's so hard to, and once you come back, it's so hard to get back into your routine. You know? Right, right. So when we're on vacation, we tend to get out of that daily yeah. routine. That includes our healthy eating habits and our fitness routine. But when we're on vacation, we want to try not to overindulge. We can mm -hmm. indulge a little bit, but we don't want to undo all that hard work. Right, definitely. Okay, so let's start. What can we eat and what should we maybe, you know, pass on? Okay, so when we're cruising down the highway, the easiest thing to do would be to stop at one of the thousands of fast food restaurants yes. that you see on the way to your destination. But instead of choosing the burger and fries, mm -hmm. which are very high in calories and fat, we want to go for a little less of those calories and fat because we're sitting for the ride and we're not burning a lot of calories. Of so course. instead, stop at a local grocery store or a local deli, grab a turkey sandwich on whole grain bread or a whole wheat wrap, and then pile it high with veggies. It'll save you lots of calories over your conventional cheeseburger and fries, right. and it won't leave you sluggish from the heavy meal, keeping you alert for the rest of your trip. Right. Of course, so much about eating well is just planning a little bit ahead of time, you right. know? And yes. so, so you don't have to use the excuse of, oh, what else am I going to eat? There's only, sure. you know. And you can pack place. a cooler as well, and then you'll be less inclined to stop at those fat, fast food places because you have everything there. Right. Save you some cash, too. Right. Okay. What do we got here? So camping is one of my favorite things to do, uh -huh. but it can be tough to resist a couple hot dogs <laughs> on the grill. But we want to choose f f foods that are lower in calories and fat. Again, so instead of going for the fatty barbecue foods, choose a veggie burger or a turkey burger. Right. And then as a snack... We want foods that are going to give us lots of energy to hike and swim. Yep. So choose unsalted nuts like almonds and cashews and seeds. They're packed with omega-3s, which are good fats that our body needs. Mm -hmm. And you'd be amazed how addictive they become once you have them yes, there, you know? And then you don't miss all the other, you know, sort right. of garbage They're that filling. you Right, Yeah. I, absolutely. Definitely. And turkey always good. Very, very low in fat. So yeah, it actually says right on the box, 50% less, less fat than ground beef. There you so go. right there. And tastes just as good. <laughs> exactly. So uh, tell me this is the do. Is this the do? That is not the do, uh, although I wish it was because no. I have a major sweet mm -hmm. tooth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when we're on a cruise, it can be tough to resist all those tempting desserts that they have, the pastries and all the fancy desserts. Yeah. But instead of oh. choosing those sugar Sorry, foods. I remember this thing about the last cruise and the, the chocolate buffet at uh -huh. midnight. <laughs> yes. And Chet, instead of choosing those sugary foods mm -hmm. that are going to make you crash later, we want a healthier option. So go for fresh fruit. Right. So choose strawberries, blueberries, uh, bananas, kiwis, and that um, is a lot less of that packed sugar. Yeah, and you know, I just stand here though, I'm joking about the cupcakes, the smell of the fruit. I know. It's great. I you know, know, it is it's great. It's so inviting. You can see what looks more healthy. Yeah, it's true, and this looks great. <laughs> right, and they're packed with vitamins, so it'll keep you looking fit in your swimsuit. All right, that's important. <laughs> Don't want to have to always have to wear the wrap. Exactly. You know? Okay. And the last have? thing we have here, airplane food mm -hmm. tends to be very salty. As a snack, they'll give you pretzels and they'll give you peanuts, both <laughs> high in salt right. and sodium. Sodium makes us retain water. So we want to choose water-dense vegetables like baby carrots, cherry tomatoes, broccoli, celery, and they're so easy. You throw them in a Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. you can get through security with them, so there's really no excuses. No, there you go. So our overall tip for to how to stay fit? Right. When you're in doubt, yeah. choose foods that your ancestors would have eaten hundreds of years ago. Fresh foods, because they certainly didn't have chocolate cake and cheeseburgers growing on trees, right. although I wish they did. <laughs> right. Yeah. Where is that tree? <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to plant one in the backyard. Right. <laughs> so go for the fresh foods. Fruit, vegetables, whole grains, seeds, unsalted nuts. And then as an exercise tip, yes. ask your personal trainer or your fitness instructor for some sample exercises that you can do while you're on vacation. Lots of my clients at VersaFit Studio are going on vacation now, and they're asking me, well, what can I do so that I don't undo all my hard work? So, so and make I sure suggest you, yes. um, the Pilates 20-minute series. It's okay. a full-body workout, and it only takes 20 minutes. Beautiful. Thank you very Thank much. You, I'm taking notes. <laughs> Stay with us, and we'll be right back.